go. With all the action, not even halfway through our matches, and yet another flurry of cargo, you would think we were back in Houston. This action is so intense here at the 2022 Indiana Robotics Invitational. At the end of Autonomous, Red takes the lead, 34 to 16. That gives them the quintet. Blue Alliance now has time to play catch up to get their own chance at the cargo bonus rank point. Robots moving about the field. There's a shot from Triple Strange at the upper hub. Team appreciates, spits one out into the lower hub. These robots are moving back and forth very quickly. There goes the Beak Squad, lining up for their next shot. One and two, sunk in. And another two from their partners, 4265, the Wild Bots. Looks like the Red Alliance has got a good system going here. 85 seconds left. Plenty of time to score all that cargo. There goes Appreciate working around the Beak Squad here at the scoring table side. There's a little flurry of blue. Four attempts, but two make it in. And there is another wave of red cargo. Red still leading. 73 to 66 with a minute remaining in match number 17. Cargo is flying and sinking into that upper hub like from Triple Strange and a long distance shot for Red also scoring it in. There's another response from Blue. Two more shots from the Krypton Cougars will make it in for the Blue Alliance and there is another one from Appreciate. Two more shots from the Cougars. One bounces out of the rim. There's another three. Now Blue's starting to catch up. Now 108 to 98, as now Alliances will start their climbs. There goes the Beak Squad for the Red Alliance. Team appreciate starting for the Blue Alliance. What are the climbs going to be like? Beak Squad only has one working arm. Let's see how far they can get with it. 10 seconds left. Appreciate making it up to the traversal rung, along with the Krypton Cougars in three, two, one. In those last moments, Beak Squad got their second arm working, getting up to the middle rung, and joining them will be the Secret City Wildbots. We'll see how the referees count that among the scores as they review the match. We have an update from that match. 4028, the Beak Squad extended beyond the regulation height while attempting their climb in the red hangar. So their climb will not count. Again, 4028 for extending beyond the height limit in the hangar will not have their climb counted. So let us see how this affects the results. The winner of the match is the Blue Alliance. A score of 144 to 134 ranking points for our Blue Alliance. And look at those cargo scores. Triple digits on both sides. We're not even halfway through our qualification matches.